that threshold had improved in every one of those subjects bar one. So let's take two pieces of information first. So one of the main theories of aging is the mitochondrial theory of aging. Mitochondria regulate the pace of aging. So if you can regulate mitochondrial health, you can regulate aging. And then the second thing to remember is that there's more mitochondria in your retina than there is in any other part of your body. Your retina has got the highest metabolic rate in the body, ages fast, and my argument always is it's the sports car. Bangs out of the garage, you know, but after, after so many thousand miles, you've got to service it, otherwise it falls apart. So there was a very strong argument for trying to manipulate mitochondria in the retina, which is great for me because I'm a retinal person, I'm a visual person, so I had the tools to do it. So the first experiment we did, which was I mean, very gratifying, was to actually measure people's ability to see colours. Now, we used a rather sophisticated test, first of all, and that was we'd put on a a very high resolution monitor, say the letter T in blue, and then we'd add loads and loads of visual noise to it in the background, or, or we'd have a, an F in red, visual noise. And then we found the threshold at which they could see that letter and happily identify it. So we found out what their visual ability was for colors. We then gave them a burst of red light, to improve their mitochondria in cells that are very mitochondrial dependent. And we then brought them back and we found the threshold had changed. That threshold had improved in every one of those subjects bar one. They could see something they couldn't see before. When you say there was an improvement of but one, could you frame that in real world context for, for people who are not thinking about visual psychophysics? Okay, it was yeah. very simple. Of all the people we've tested, we've got an improvement and there's very large numbers of them, except one subject. If you look over the population, the size of the effect is around 20%. It's very substantial. Okay. But it, the, the, our ability to improve visual function varies enormously between individuals.